uh, yes student uh, in last lecture i have taught you about the master's theorem and i have discussed three numericals and those three numerical were very simple one but uh, actually this uh, does not happen every time there are some numerical which needs some extra tricks to solve this uh, solve those problem using the master's method so when we deal with the such special type of numerical and these numericals are asked in the exam uh, asked in the exam then a student get confused because the simple cases that we know in master theorem are not sufficient to solve these problem so here i am going to take a one special numerical that is very popular and then that has come into the examination for various time and i explain you the what are the trick to solve this problem so the question is tn equals to t under root n plus 1 this is the first question and suppose this comes into your exam and you have to solve this question using master method this questions in a uh, in a one view it doesn't look like that it can be solved using the master method because the master method formula is like this tn is equals to a tn by b plus fn but taking a glance of this we can see that there is no such uh, the first equation the numerical that we want to solve is not in the form the master theorem is applied so here we need a trick or to convert this formula into the desired form of master's theorem for converting the uh, the given equation into the desired master's equations we need some transformations which uh, what will be these transformation and why will do this because you should know the concept of this because just remembering the steps you cannot solve the different problem so first focus on how will we transform this equation into this one the problem in the first equation is that there is this under root sign and we want to get rid of this under root sign because there is the expression here in master's theorem does not have any under root sign so remove under root the uh, simple logic is that we can replace this variable by the variable which is in square form so let's assume that n is equals to 2 raised to the power m okay then if sup suppose n is equals to 2 raised to the power m i shall tell you that why i have taken 2 as a base uh, and suppose i consider then under root n is equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 here in the first step i have assumed that n is equals to 2 raised to the power m and if i assume n is equals to 2 raised to the power m then under root n would become equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 obviously by converting this my equation will look like this then putting the values replacing replacing the right hand side terms in equation ye this will kya wo ho jayega aapka ye t 2 raised to the power m plus is equal to t under root 2 raised to the power m by 2 plus 1 so we have transformed this equation into this one take a look first here the equation was like this we had a under root symbol now we have replaced n by 2 raised to the power m and under root n by 2 raised to the power m by 2 then the n has been replaced by the 2 raised to the power m and under root has been replaced by the 2 raised to the power m by 2 in this way we have got rid of under root symbol but yet the equation is not in the form of the master's theorem then how can we transform this now just 
take the same equation and take the ba ba log base 2 of the both side of this one. Here, after taking the log on both side, log n equals to log 2 raised to the power m like this. Here n is, is equal, we have replaced n is equal to 2 raised to the power m and suppose we take log of both side then this equation becomes like log n is equals to m log n becomes equals to m okay and suppose we take I, this way cursor, we can convert like this and now let us assume that a function s so this is not very helpful in solving anything but I shall come to that point why I have taken this and I shall give you the reason behind this what the reason now I replace I perform a second transformation into it suppose s function s m is equals to 2 raised to the power m then s m by 2 would be equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 this is the second replacement suppose let and then let s m is equals to 2 raised to the power m then s m by 2 would be equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 here after the first transformation equation was not in master's form so we required another transformation and in other in second transformation we considered that as suppose if there is a function sm is equals to 2 raised to the power m then sm by 2 would be equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 now replace so we can say that t of this function can be replaced by suppose here the equation is 2 t raised to the power m and equivalently if I replace this equation by like this t of s m raised s m is equals to t of s m by 2 plus 1 1 I have just replaced this 2 raised to the power m by sm function and 2 raised to the power m by 2 by sm by 2 functions. Then after this replacement, this function becomes like this t of function and suppose instead of t in function of s or m, I replaced it by s dash m is equals to s dash m by 2 plus 1, the new equation this is the third transform second transformation first transformation then second transformation and take a uh, this is very crucial step in the after the first step we have replaced uh, performed second transformation and in second transformation the function we know that the composition of two function can be replaced by a function another function so we have replaced the two functions t and s by the s dash and t into s by s dash. Now this equation looks like the standard master's theorem equation. This one the standard master's theorem equation. So now we can use the concept and for cases of the master theorem directly into this equation. Before solving, first we tra firstly we transform by replacing n is equals to 2 raised to the power m by putting this value under root n is equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2 and replacing all these we got an equation t raised to the power 2 raised to the power m and t raised to the power 2 m by 2 plus 1. This equation was has transformed as removed the under root sign but still it was not in the standard master's theorem. So, to convert into the standard master theorem, we assume that Sm is equals to 2 raised to the power m and Sm by 2 is equals to 2 raised to the power m by 2. 
then the function becomes like that t of sm and t of sm by 2 plus 1 and we replace t into s by s dash and t into s by s dash. Now this equation has transformed into the form of master's theorem. So now I shall apply the case. So I, this, I shall replace the this part here now applying simply here a, a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 2 and fn is equals to 1. So n raised to the power log a base b is equals to n raised to the power 1 base b these two is equals to n raised to the power 0 equals to 1. So n raised to here n raised to power log a base b is equals to fn. So this lies under the case 2. So this lies under the case 2. So as per case 2, what will be the solution? I am rubbing this part. n raised to the theta of n raised to the see okay so now n raised to the power log a base b equals to n raised to the power log 1 base 2 n raised to the power 0 equals to 1 here uh, so a is equals to 1 and fn is also equals to 1 so it lies under the case 2 so according to case t m equals to see i have used the place barrier m because this equation is in the form of the m variable. So, t m is equal to theta n raised to the power log a base b into log m. So, n raised to the power log n raised to the power 0 log m and n raised to the power 0 is equal to 1 into log m. So, theta log m. So, the final complexity m is equal to complexity is equal to t n equals to theta and log m equals to we know that v m is equals to log n. So final complexity is equal to log n means log of log n. So final complexity T n is equals to somebody may get the doubt in my, his mind why have replaced m by n because this is the final equation and the complexity of this equation was the same as the original equation. I just have transformed that and because of that the complexity of this equation will be same as that of the original equation. So the complexity Tm or Tn are same but the base I have taken here which should be the log m because the log here the term used is the log n but the equation was in the form of m. I have replaced m and finally I have replaced it by the value that m is equals to log n because 2 raised to the power n is equals to 2 raised to the power m. So taking log of both side log n is equals to log of 2 raised to the power m. Since log base is 2, so this will be equals to m. So log n is equals to m. And putting this value here, I have replaced log m by log n. So the final complexity of this equation would be tn equals to theta of log of log n. So this is the very important numerical and on the basis same concept there are various variety of the numerical and the main concept I have discussed in this numerical was the transformation concept. Depending upon the question's complexity, the numerical can need, numerical will need number of transformation. So I am going to discuss you the second numerical that is also based on master's theorem and that is of the case 3. So I am rubbing this board and uh, now the second question that I am go going to discuss is also of master's theorem but these are the different type of question that you must study before solving the master's theorem because in master's theorem there are lot of cases and there are lot of typicalities. 
so you should know all these before attempting this type of numerical and here the example i am taking simply the master theorem standard form is a t n by b plus f n here a is equals to 16 and b is equals to 4 and f n is equals to n q taking n raised to the power log a base b is equals to n raised to the power log a 16 days 4 is equals to n raised to the power 4 into 4 square is equals to n square. Definitely n raised to the power log a b is equals to n square and f n is equals to n cube. So f n is equals to here f n is equals to n cube and it is greater than n raised to the power log a base b that is equals to n square. So, we shall, uh, it looks like that it should go uh, into the case 3. But before solving any numerical using case 3, first we should check the regularity condition. Only if condition, I have told you in the last lecture that there is a gap between case 1 and case 2 and there is a gap between case 2 and case 3. And before, so it is not a sufficient condition that fn is greater than the n raised to the power log a base b, the second case 3 can be applied. Case 3, ne uh, case 3 need a regularity check conditions to be satisfied before applying. What is regularity check condition? Regularity check condition is that a f n by b should be less than equals to c f n. Here a is equals to 16, f of n, b is equals to 4 and it should be less than c and fn and c value should lies between 0 and 1. I have told you and fn is equals to n q. Now replacing the value 16, fn by 4 would be equals to f n cube by 4 cube less than c f n cube and this will be 16 n cube by 64 should less than c f n cube this will be equals to n cube by 4 should less than c f n cube f n is equal to n cube so n cube n cube cancels so c should be less than 1 by 4 it means c lies between 0 and 1 so regularity condition is satisfied so regularity check regularity condition satisfied since the regularity condition satisfied we can apply go for the case 3 as case 3 so it is it lies under case 3 case 3 and in case 3 tn is equals to theta of fn sorry omega of fn so it will be equals to tn is equals to omega of fn is here is equal to n q so this will be the result so in this numerical in uh, general students uh, normally just taking a uh, checking out that fn is greater than n raised to the power log a plus b applies the third form case 3 solution and they uh, they forgot to apply check the regularity condition so whenever this condition 3 is satisfied that n raised to the power log a plus b is smaller than fn in that case first check the regularity condition only after checking out the regularity condition then apply the case 3 solution so this is the example where regularity condition has been satisfied and case 3 has been applied so after this i am going to give you the another numerical in which the master's theorem cannot be applied okay so i am just writing rubbing this page and giving a writing the third numerical
the next numerical is tn is equals to 4 tn by 2 4 tn by 2 plus n square log n uh, yes now this is question is a particular example in which master method cannot be applied i have told you earlier that the master theorem can be applied on case 1 case 2 case 3 but there is a gap between case 1 and case 2 and case 2 and case 3 so <coughs> first try to solve this using master method by taking a simple look we can simply assume that it can be easily solved using the masters method but there is a some uh, speciality about this question here a is equals to 4 and b is equals to 2 and fn is equals to n square log n so n raised to the power log a base b is equals to log 4 base 2 is equals to n square okay and fn is equal to n square log n simply comparing uh, comparing these two terms n raised to the power log a base b and fn is equal to n square log n somebody may assume that the fn is greater than n raised to the power log a base b but it is not the case the difference is the term should be polynomially larger it is not the only condition that fn should be greater than n raised to the power log a base b but it should be the polynomially larger but in this case when we check out fn upon log n raised to the power log a base b is equals to n square log n upon n square is equals to log n this is not polynomially larger polynomially larger means n raised to the power some epsilon for polynomial larger for polynomial larger terms it should be of the order of n raised to the power epsilon but it is of the terms n log n so this one is not polynomially larger so in this case cannot be solved using the master method since it is not polynomially larger larger so master method cannot be applied method cannot be applied so today i have discussed three type of numerical first numerical which needed the transformation second type of numerical in which we che uh, set, uh, check the regularity condition and in the third type of numerical we have found that this, there are some numerical which cannot be solved using the masters method so that's all for today in next lecture i shall discuss the some few, uh, few more numericals thank you thank you